Alright, so here's uh, stage two of this uh, servo motor circuit. Um, now we have the pulse width circuit soldered all on a breadboard. And instead of push buttons controlling the width of the pulse, we now have a PLC output uh, controlling the, the steps up and steps down. So as the output relay opens and closes, it's going to shift the pulse uh, larger or smaller. Okay, so we can see the servo is moving right now. You can hear the clicking of the PLC as it's driving the output. So the PLC is telling the servo to increment to a different position. And then over here, we can see the pulse width change on the scope. And that's what commands the servo. So now it's reached its final position. Can you tell it to go to a different position now? Yeah. You can hear the PLC click. We, we can zoom see. in right here, we could probably see it a little Okay, better. yeah, you can see the pulse getting narrower. And then here, you can see the servo following that new pulse command. Very cool. So, just about ready for final assembly. Yep.